What's up guys, it's Trevor with Timbers Living. Today, this is very, very rare since we carry so many grill brands. I feel like um, in the last five years, I've gone a little crazy reviewing barbecues. I've reviewed almost every grill on the planet. No, I haven't. But it's rare that I see a new grill that I haven't seen or reviewed. And today that's what we're doing is we're reviewing the new True Flame series. And I'm trying a new tactic. I have not looked under the hood of this. I have not seen it. So my reaction and review is gonna be very candid and what I think of it, you're gonna be hearing for the very first time on camera. I'm excited, let's go. All right, don't forget if you're in the Denver, Colorado area, come to our showroom today. Um, you can shop all of our barbecues and accessories. Also, if you're not, and uh, maybe you're out of state or something, and you come to our channel to get educated, give us a chance, first stab at the business. I can't tell you how many orders where we educate consumers and then we lose the business to barbecueguys.com um, or something like that because we never even got a chance out the gate. So if you appreciate the content that you see here for free, give us a chance at the business. It's a little shameless plug I have, but it definitely helps us out a ton and enables us to keep making videos like this on biased reviews. All right. So what do we like about True Flame? We don't know yet. We don't know. First thing out the gate before I open the hood, I know that this comes in a built-in and uh, cart models. This is the 32 inch cart model. I think it comes in a 25 or 27 inch, I believe. And then one size bigger in a 40 inch, they do a skillet, a lot of cool built-in accessories, things like that. Right out the gate, I would say visually, it has like a lot of hard lines to it. Um, very understated and I, I like the the hardness of it is, does that make sense the way I'm describing it but it's like harsh lines it's not like smooth or round like everything's like pointed I kind of like the way it looks this grill hood kind of comes up at a point same thing with the cart you know hard, hard sharp lines this cart a lot of the manufacturers the carts are a dime a dozen this looks kind of similar. Reminds me of a Blaze card a lot. Let's see if the side shelves are retractable. Yep. So retractable side shelves. Nothing too fancy to talk about with the card itself. This looks like, yep, slide out tray. Uh, big, nice big thermometer. I do like that. So pretty easy to read. Those must turn on, I'm guessing, the interior lights. Oh, oh there we go. So we got red LED lights. It's reminding me a lot of Blaze, honestly. Um, just a little bit harsher line so far. Oh, fancy. Okay, so we got two lights, and then we got a warming rack. Oh, what the heck is this little guy? This is for your drippings? No, what would that be for? Because your rotisserie is gonna sit here. What in the world would you need that little basket for? I'm gonna have to look in the manual and see, but it's like a little insert that comes out. Maybe if you're warming like a steak that was full of butter and you didn't want the butter to get, I don't know. Um, okay, here's our rotisserie, two lights. Looks like we get a rotisserie burner standard, but I see a rotisserie spit rod missing. So I'm guessing that does not come standard out the gate. Double lined hood, of course, that's gonna help with discoloration. Hood seems sturdy, um, no spring assist hood, but it's, uh, it's not too heavy, not too bad. Looks like they give you a manual, which of course we're gonna check to see what that's all about. A couple replacement bulbs, that's always a plus, and then a natural gas conversion kit. So that's cool, kind of comes ready to be converted if you need to. All right, cooking grates. Oh, they're pretty heavy. They're square, so we got square, I'm guessing like eight millimeter stainless steel cooking grates. Okay, so we got our flame diverters here. Man, this just looks like an awful lot like a blaze grill, to tell you the truth. Okay, these are heavy duty, yeah. Then we got our cast stainless burners. Again, if you watch any of my reviews, Bull uses something like this, Blaze uses something like this, Somerset uses the same burners. Then we have our dividers, which are gonna help with our zones, basically keeping our zones even heat if we wanted something running hot, something running cool. This is kind of cool. So we got some connectors here. 
So it looks like if our burner went out from the wind or something, this connector here is gonna relight it from the other burner. It looks like we got a match drop zone in case our burners are out. Yes, yeah, so we got piezo spark igniters. And then it's not a very deep grill. Honestly, it's, it's very, very similar to a Blaze. Reminds me of a Blaze LPE, honestly. So if you're familiar with my reviews, a Blaze LTE, a Sizzler Pro by Somerset, a, Bl a Bull Brahma, and now a True Flame a Bonfire Grill. They sent us a grill to review once. They're all very, very, very similar grills. I mean, there's differences in some of the marketing, what they come with as far as rotisseries, things like that, but they all use very similar burners. Um, I will have a side note that uh, Bull got after me for one of my videos saying that uh, I said if I was a betting man, they came out of the same factory. I didn't know the answer to that for sure. They reassured me that they are not. So if I was a betting man, I would have lost that bet. So they were very not happy with me on that. So I figured I would just let them know that uh, apparently they're made in a different factory, even though they're very similar. I don't know which one, I think both came out first, but uh, I better stop <laughs> stating things I'm guessing because they don't like it when I guess. <laughs> I do know that for sure. Okay, but this, ah, it's a cool grill. Not a lot to talk about though, because it's so comparable. So I always like my, my rotisserie sitting up a little bit higher. So it's not a very tall hood. Come over here guys, let's actually take a look at the Blaze LTE. While I was over here, I was, I was looking up pricing because I didn't know how much that was. If you watch my videos, you know, I don't talk a lot about price because it's more about the product reviews. Or if you're watching this a year later, um, you're, we're gonna have totally different pricing because pricing changes every year. So the Blaze Grill, Blaze 32 inch grill is $22.99. That grill is $23.40. So it's $40 more. But essentially they're the same price. But just for comparison's sake, does that look the same of what we just reviewed, Chris? Exactly. What about the burners? Yeah, pretty similar. So hood height, again, very, very similar. But see, there's much softer lines on the hood of the boys. That's the biggest difference is they have, just have a different aesthetic and the belly bar is a little different. So these knobs are more protruding out versus the belly bar of the true sticks out a little bit. Let's go back and look at that. But essentially they're the same price grill. So I'll tell you my thoughts at the end on which one you need. Okay. So this is essentially the same as a blaze grill. It really is. Um, but I like the belly bar a little bit better. See how this sticks out and kind of hides the knobs from protruding. And then the lights, I think because there's a little more, the red knobs are a little more pronounced. And honestly, I like the shape of the hood a little bit better too. This is just me cosmetically. Performance wise, I guarantee you they're gonna perform about the same. But how do you know which one to get? Especially we've talked about uh, so many grills that are so similar. And you know, in this $2,300 price point, you're gonna get a lot of comparable products. Well, this is no different. But what I wanna check is their warranties. Let's see if the warranties are the same. Everything's lifetime warranty. The only thing that's three year warranty is gonna be uh, miscellaneous parts and components, electrical, including LED bulbs, wire harness, switch power source, transformer. So basically all the electrical is a three year warranty. Lifetime warranty with three years on that, that's pretty good. So both grills are lifetime warranty. Blaze is one year on parts, which is basically gonna be igniters and electrical. These guys are three years, so they give you two extra years. But here's what I'll say, uh, a warranty, no matter what's in writing, what I've learned in the 15 years of retail, no matter what they put in writing, the warranty is really only as good as the brand that backs it. So they can put whatever they want in writing. It just depends if they're gonna stand behind it and back it. And so um, Blaze is a very good company to work with. These guys for me are new. I, have, I don't know how old they are, but they'll be new for me. I know our supplier that we get them from um, is one of the best suppliers that we work with as far as warranties. That's why we brought, brought the product in is the customer service is exceptional. And another thing, 
Your warranties and customer service are usually also only as good as the company you buy them for, through. So like a company like ours, another little shameless plug, um, we're here to help you. So we got customer service teams that do nothing but work on warranty issues, freight claims, things like that. So warranty really also has a lot to do with the brand and the, and the retailer that you buy it from. That's a big little plug on how warranties work. But it is a really good grill, um, but certainly nothing new to market. Outside of this, this little guy has me stumped. And I don't know if, I, if it's a really awesome feature or not. All right, their website says that this is just for, you know, veggies or roasting or whatever you want it to be, um, which I can see being helpful. Like, let's say, come over here, Chris. Like, let's say you turned on just this rear burner. This sucker is going to get hot. You could probably sear right on it, too. Like, if you wanted to throw a little steak in, in some butter, that's what I'm thinking you could do with that. Anyways, it's a very similar grill to what's out on the market, but technically we can say there's some innovation going on. So it is different. So this is the, the true grill or the true flame grill. I would say if you're trying to decide between the two and you're buying from us anyways, you know you're gonna get the warranty and service that you need. I would buy it based off of, <laughs> this sounds dumb, but buy it off of aesthetically what hood you like better. That's the biggest difference between these grills. And I like this, this belly bar. Personally, I really like this belly bar and I like the shape of the hood. That's all I got for you as far <laughs> as, far as differences in the grill. But um, really good solid product because I know there's a million of them out there and they work really well. So I'm sure this one is gonna be no different. And I think aesthetically it's the most attractive out of the bunch. So that's the True Flame gas grill review. We'll see you guys next time.